again, fellow RC enthusiasts. It's your host, Tom Cogswell from Spectrum RC, here to give you another NX tutorial video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the NX6 and its ability to have a extra channel, a channel seven, on a switch. What that is useful for is so that you can assign that switch for safe modes, flight modes, or in this video, we're gonna use my 533 or 533 tiny trainer as I'm going to use that seventh channel to set up my beeper and my turtle mode. So this seventh channel is essentially a dummy channel. It's not something that you can assign to a stick or as a flap or anything like that. It's gonna be a two or three position switch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign it to the D switch and I'm gonna show you, essentially just show you in action and then I'll show you on a new model how to set it up. So let's go ahead and quickly see it in action. Uh, I'm gonna plug in my tiny trainer but before that, Let's think of safety first and get the props off. All right, now we've got the props off. Let's go ahead and plug in the battery and I'll show you what we have going on here. All right, so like I was saying, we have channel seven assigned to a switch and I'll kind of illustrate that here on the monitor screen. So if you're looking at the monitor screen here, we have seven channels. We have altitude for throttle, roll for aileron, roll and pitch here, yaw, gear, which I am using as my flight mode channel, which I have on the A switch, augs one, which is my arm switch, which is the H, and then augs two, which is channel seven, I have on the D switch, which I have as a three position switch. When it's all the way up, nothing's happening. When it's in the middle, I'm getting beeping on the ESCs or the motors, so I can be alarmed as to where my model is if I happen to crash it and I don't know where it's at. And then when it's all the way down, that is my turtle mode. And turtle mode is really cool because when you flip your arm switch and you move your sticks, it reverses the throttle and causes the model to flip over. So if you guys aren't familiar with that, it's been around for a little while, but it is a awesome feature to have, especially when you're racing and you wanna get back up again. So let's take a closer look on how to set this sort of thing up. Let's move everything out of the way. So I'm just gonna start with a fresh model. And easy enough to do that, we'll just go back to the main screen, hit both of our buttons and go to add new model. And let's start with a airplane model. Hit create. Oh, I'm gonna unplug my quad. And then the first step you're gonna wanna go to is channel assigned. It's gonna be this menu down here around the middle of the menu. And you'll see that we only have six channels here on our export assignment. But if we go to next, we have number seven for AUGS2. By default, it's gonna be either assigned to B, it kinda of depends if you pick an airplane model or not, or it might be INH. At this point, just pick the switch that you want it to be activated by. If you want it to be a two position switch, hit that two position switch. If you want it to be a three position switch, hit that three position switch. Let's say we wanna use F. All right, and now, Augs2, again, we're gonna look at the monitor screen, which is a very helpful screen if you wanna see the position of channels. And we'll flip our F switch and we'll see it will go to these three positions. So what can't you do with this? If you go to servo setup, you'll notice that you only have the access to travel on the main six channels. You won't be able to sub trim it, but you will be able to reverse it if you so deem necessary. And that's essentially how to use this extra channel to your needs. Let's real quick talk about something a little different. Okay, and then lastly, I want to discuss using this seventh channel with an OpenStock AR630 or an OpenStock AR637T or things like that. And that is where you can assign it as a flight mode. And that's simple enough. We just go down here to forward programming. And this is when you're connected to an AR630 or a forward programming device. We'll go to gyro settings. And it, if you've already set it up, great. But as you're going through, you can, in the flight mode screen, just select flight mode channel and AUGS2 or channel seven will be available to you there. Just go to AUGS2, choose an input and it will assign it for you. 
And that's how you utilize the seventh channel on your NX6 transmitter. If you guys have any other questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments below. This is Tom signing off. Thanks for watching.